Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to do a small hands-on lab and learn more about Apache QB. Apache QB is a serverless SQL on Lakehouse. Apache QB is a distributed and a multi-tenant gateway to provide serverless SQL on Lakehouse. The following figure shows you uh, the vision of QB ecosystem. You can access from anywhere uh, whether it be Hive, Hue, Superset, DB Weaver or a Thrift Server or Pandas or Superset. You can deploy at any scale Spark, Fling, Trino, Mesos, uh, Kubernetes. You can connect to any data, you know, Kudi, Icebark, uh, Delta Lake, etc. Uh, use cases are interactive analytics, batch processing and data lake and lake houses. So uh, now with that a small explanation, it's time for a small hands-on lab. Before that, I wanted to show you this uh, picture. So it gives you a clear picture where Apache QB sits. As you can see over here, right? This is where Apache QB sits, right? Uh, you know, you can connect to your uh, data sets like Hoodie. Uh, we're going to do that uh, in this video via Spark. So uh, enough of talking. I think once we see a small demo, I think you will understand things in a much better way. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with a small lab. All right, so the most easiest way to try this out is uh, with a Docker example. So come to the GitHub repository of uh, QB and click on code and click on uh, this uh, URL and then come ahead and clone, clone the project in your local working directory. Now, once you have cloned the repository, uh, come to the playground, uh, come to the Docker folder. Inside there, there's a folder called playground and inside there, there's a folder called conf. So we need to make a small change here, okay? Open the file spark-default.conf over here, as you can see. And then you need to paste this particular settings into that. Here, I have added the settings uh, for hoodie uh, to work uh, with Apache QB, as you can see over here. After adding that, all you need to do is now uh, spin up the stack. So we can use the command docker compose up hyphen D, which stands for run all the containers in the background. Uh, looks like I am not in the directory and I'll run it again. And as you can see, all my containers have uh, started. If I collapse here, as you can see, these all containers are now in the running state. Now, what we need to do, guys, is basically we need to uh, uh, we need to actually uh, put a hoodie spark a bundle uh, jar file in the in the in the jar folder right so let's do that now uh, let me actually see if i can come here to my notes okay so as you can see uh, inside opt spark jars we need this particular jar file so we're going to download that from maven and we're going to put that in inside that particular directory so to do that uh, open up your docker desktop okay let me zoom in so you guys can see things in a much better way, okay? All right, so now scroll uh, where you see QB and then click on exec and then simply paste the command. So this will basically put the jar file in that particular directory. And now what you can do is now you can head over to localhost 9001 and uh, you can try the username as minio and you can try the password as minio underscore minio. All right, so that's great and you have a bucket. Now you can connect uh, to this uh, either via Beeline or DB Weaver or any other tool, right? So let me show you uh, that particular process. So first I want to show you through Beeline. So I'll copy this command, okay? And let me bring this terminal over here. And let me also fix the font size. So you guys, can, when you're seeing it from the mobile phone, uh, it's, it's actually visible. All right, so I'm connecting to that as you can see. Right. Hopefully should be connected in a second or two. Now, the what I want to show you also is if I actually head over to localhost 4040, which is where my Spark SQL is running. So now uh, I'll go to SQL and as I enter commands here, it will probably submit all these Spark SQL commands. Okay. So show databases. I can see that. So use default. So as you can see behind the scenes, you know, uh, uh, I can see my Spark SQL right there. So that's great. All right. So now let's let's uh, create a, a, a sample hoodie table. Now, since we ha do have a jar, we should be able to create this hoodie table. So we're going to create a table called hoodie cow non CF TBL. You can give any name as you want again. Perfect, right? Makes sense. And now let's insert a sample data there. 
and uh, that table should be created uh, shortly and now I can say show tables I can say select everything from limit to and here you can see I see that uh, you know I can I can see the uh, data uh, through my B line uh, also if you go to uh, localhost 10099 slash UI uh, and if you head over to management and if you go to session here you can see who's connected uh, right so you can see the client IP address and the user that is connected as well so I just wanted to show you that as well okay uh, also, let's uh, let's check the uh, Minio buckets. Uh, so I'm gonna refresh here, go to this. So here you can see that particular table has been created on the Minio as well. Great, right? You can connect via B line. You can you know also connect via DB Viewer. Let me show you that particular process now. So on the DB Viewer, you can click on this plus icon, okay? And uh, here you can. Uh, again, you can also select Apache Hive that should also connect but uh, you can also search for QB over here, right? And then uh, Yeah, you can put uh, just leave it to default and then click on test connection Here you can see I'm connected. I can click on finish and if I expand I should see my spark catalog here You can see that default table that I made right? Uh, let's see if we are able to query that so I'm gonna simply write an SQL here select everything from from uh, hoodie underscore cow underscore non pcf underscore tbl let's run this yeah you can see that data you know so hopefully you you got the big picture of what apache qb is also if you want to learn more about apache uh, qb you know come to their website and uh, you know explore the doc section so here you can come here and you know you can explore all, all the connectors right so for example hoodie right and you can read all the steps over here as well so i hope you have enjoyed i hope you have learned uh, how to integrate apache qb with uh, hoodie and the hive metastore uh, this was a very simple lab uh, so go ahead and please uh, try this out and if you have any further questions please let me know your question in the comment section uh, and I will post the settings that I have changed. Again, I, I, I have changed uh, this particular file, right? So if I go to, uh, which one? Yeah, spark-default.conf, right? I have made some changes over there. So I'll basically uh, make sure that these changes are there on my GitHub section. So you can simply copy paste and try these labs out. That's all I have for the video. Hope you have enjoyed. We'll explore more uh, maybe in the upcoming uh, future video if needed. Uh, and um, with that being said, I'll see you in the next uh, video.